Hi guys, Simon here. This is the part two to Soapy Massage Girls are a pain to work with. Continuation. Right. So 12 weeks, bar one, off walking street, doing brilliant. Animal in the DJ box, spiky hair, toy, one of the two barmaids, cashier, frozen the mama san. Loads of freelancers coming in, loads of customers. We're clearing 10,000 baht a day profit. Amazing. And we're open from 5 in the afternoon till 2, 3 in the morning. Brilliant. One thing I forgot to mention in the last uh, video. Eight or nine rooms, short time rooms upstairs. I took one of those rooms as my home. So I've been there for 12 weeks. Room 6, best room. Double bed, nice clean room, ensuite with a jacuzzi for six people, hot water, bubble, the lot, windows, really nice room. That was my home for 12 and a half weeks. So, free rent, fantastic, what a great room. <laughs> free booze in part of my deal, as much drink as I want free in my salary. Money, budget towards promoting the bar available and everything was perfect fantastic so as i said on the last video 12 weeks almost to the day then it all went pear shape what went wrong so husband and wife bosses of mine ty about 60 years old all these different businesses now i didn't know they were having a few problems with their marriage didn't know the lady looked after the sort of property and the bar, this bar. The guy looked after the soapy massage, the money, oh, I don't know, the other businesses. So, I think it was a Tuesday, 12 weeks in, come down, I came down, everyone, well, the few staff came in, as normal, opened the doors, and then the boss, the man, turned up with a load of people with cameras didn't know what was going on and he didn't speak hardly any English then his wife turned up they had a bit of an argument what had happened well a film crew whatever you call them production company from Bangkok were making a movie in Patea they were using different areas roads they wanted to use our bar for a couple of scenes and as a base for all the actors and all the makeup for everyone to stay in including some of the rooms um to base themselves there the actors staying in a bar short time room what yeah okay they wanted to take over the bar for a week and the my boss the the the, 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 the guy had done a deal I don't know the amount of money but can, we were making 10,000 baht a day profit he'd done a deal his wife wasn't happy for them to take over the bar completely for a week for filming and filming in the lane outside and all around so he closed the bar he closed us down bang there and then we're closed any girls customers sorry closed for a week just like that and then all these people come in yeah I got it in a couple of the scenes of the movie somewhere in the street and the two big stars somebody Som Chai who was a singer very famous back in 2000 2001 and then the the lovely guy and I can't remember his name the very large bald comedian who's still on Thai TV today famous guy him he was in the, and me and him got on like a house on fire didn't understand each other but we actually got drunk the one night together I can't remember his name but lovely guy funny as hell well I think he was <laughs> anyway so this movie lot all just moved in for a week closed the bar down totally and the bosses arguing uh, money I don't know what was coming in from it but we just lost all our customers all those girls everything the whole lot so yeah, week, movie, stars, all this, fantastic. Psh, crowds outside all the time. It was just mad. 
end of the week they all moved out gone open our doors again no customers no girls no one knew we were open again and then in comes the boss the the male boss of uh, my boss sits in the bar gets hammered and I'm sat at the bar minding my own business with talking to Frozen and Toy we're trying to work out what to do for no reason at all comes from behind me bottle tries to bang me on the head with a bottle hammered luckily I saw in a reflection heard the noise turn around blocked the bottle took it off him pushed him on the floor drunk and what the hell and it seems that he was jealous that his wife was interacting with a farang getting a successful bar together don't understand it got him up got him out into a taxi off boss female came apologies bar closed bang right there and then end of the bar what yeah move out everything's closed don't worry simon you're still employed and frozen everyone's still got jobs 24 hours off go away i'll be in touch i know where to live back to my rucksack you know job's over but i'm still being paid what the hell mad bar closed end of story <sighs> next day 24 hours later i get a phone call going up to i think it was cabbages and condoms hotel up on the top of the hill meet the boss and the guy and then he apologized and rambled i don't know what he was talking about anyway made up he said sorry gave me a couple of thousand baht for i don't know what for <laughs> and he uh and her decided he's taking the bar over from today it's his new bar and he wanted to make a success don't understand it all what happened <laughs> jealous i don't know but i was working for her the boss and she told him i would help and i'd find someone else to run the bar but the team me frozen were going to have another bar they had another argument there and then but yeah, no, they eventually agreed. Uh, okay, I'm being paid. So my female boss, off she goes to find a new bar. I've got to work for him for a week. So I go and work for a week. And I find another English guy, lovely guy, um, who's a teacher, but wanted something different to do. And I managed to get him into the bar. He took it over. And he started teaching all the girls, the girls that came and worked for them over the next however many months, how to speak English. So he was getting a good salary, 20,000 baht, free room, teaching girls. But it wasn't doing, it wasn't making the money. In the six months they had that bar, it just didn't make any money. It was losing money. It was a shame. But the guy, he was making money, English guy, so he had a job for six months. And eventually that bar closed under the male boss of mine. Uh, no idea what happened to it thereafter. It just such a shame because it was doing so well. And that is my bar one story. How I started as a bar manager. And how came to move on to second bar. The female boss found a building in Soy 7 down to the beach end got the builders in she went and found me a rented room up in third road i think it was really nice brand new little apartment she paid for it uh and i got a free little condo it was lovely there you go simon that's for all your troubles and you're still having salary while we build the new bar which is going to take a month so a month off salary brilliant frozen's being paid oh, that was like a fabulous holiday and this is only three, four months into my two-year bar manager story. So there you go. It took two videos to get you the story. That's what happened. How I got the job. How I got bar one. Bar two. A month later. 
we got it all done and it was ready for opening. That's where I will leave this video. The next video will be I buy find 23 girls in one hour and 15 minutes story video and I hope it's answered some of your questions. A lot of you won't like this, some of you will, but I had to give you this backstory. It it helps with the bar information I'm giving you about the knowledge I've got and where I've got the knowledge from. So there you go. I'll see you on that next video. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm scared to say it. Subscribe, share. The numbers are going crazy. But okay. <laughs> And I'll catch you soon. Bye for now. See you soon.